two viewers, myself, Mr. Amit Benegar, lecturer selection grade from KDCS Institute of Pharmacy, Kolapur, welcomes you on my channel, Tips and Tricks by A and B. In today's video, we are going to discuss about two of the extraction processes with infusion and decoction. Before dealing with these two processes, infusion and decoction, we should know what is extraction. So, all of us know that from ancient time, crude drugs are used in the treatment of various diseases. And effect which is produced by these drugs in various diseases, it is due to one or more active chemical constituent which is present in the crude drug. Now, that active principle or active chemical constituent should be separated from the crude drug to improve its biological effectiveness, stability, administration and handling. And for that process, for separation of that active principle, extraction is done. So what is extraction? Extraction, it is the process of separation of active principle from crude drug by solubilizing it in solvent and leaving behind undissolved matter. Now, the solvent which is used for extraction process, it is called as menstrual and undissolved matter which remain behind that is called as mark. So, there are several extraction process out of these several extraction processes like infusion, decoction, maceration, percolation and digestion. Today we have to discuss about two extraction processes with infusion and <coughs> so what are the learning outcomes of this video after watching this video learner will able to prepare infusion and decoction learner will also be able to describe types of infusion and differentiate between infusion and decoction processes. So, we are moving ahead to achieve these learning outcomes. Going to the next point, where we have to reflect on something. For that, we are requested to pause the video and <coughs> think on the question which is given in the reflection spot and question for the reflection spot is whether we use any of the extraction process in daily activities in house if yes list out those activities so you have to pause the video you have to think on this and you have to find out the answer of that question and you have to write down your answer in your notebook and after you complete click on the play button to play the video now First, we have to discuss about infusion. Now, what is infusion? Infusion, in this process, drug is kept in contact with water or boiling water 
or menstrual for specific duration usually 15 minutes with occasional stirring and finally filtering of the liquid mark which is remained behind after the process of infusion it is not pressed and also volume final volume is not existed in this process <coughs> now this process <coughs> for this process this type of infusion pot is going to be used we have to discuss about mechanism involved in the process of extraction here solvent or menstruum enters into the drum, dissolve the active principles and comes out of the crude drum. now this portion of solvent becomes heavier and according to gravity it goes downward and that place is taken by fresh menstruum and this fresh menstruum again enter into the drug and the process is repeated if hot solvent it is going to be used the solvent which is present at the surface level it becomes more cooler than the rest of the solvent and because of that it becomes heavier and goes down while the hot solvent it is lighter and it goes up and replace the solvent so there is no agitation or stirring is required in some cases of the infusion the example of infusion process is <coughs> preparation of tea by using tea bag dipped into the hot water. Now we have to discuss about types of infusion. There are two types of infusion, fresh infusion and concentrated infusion. Now we will discuss one by one. Fresh infusion. Fresh infusion, it is prepared as discussed earlier in this video. It should be used within 12 hours after the preparation. As there are chances of bacteria or fungal growth in them, it should be used within 12 hours. It should be stored in cool place. Example of fresh infusion is fresh infusion of quassia. Now we will discuss concentrated infusion. Concentrated infusion is 8 times more concentrated than fresh infusion. It is prepared either by concentrating fresh infusion by the process of evaporation or by multiple maceration method. Menstruum which is going to be used for the preparation of concentrated infusion should contain 20 to 25 percent of alcohol as it is having some advantages. It dissolves more amount of active principle from the cruder. It also reduces the total amount of menstruum required for the process of extraction. And as it is present more than 20%, it prevents microbial growth in the preparation. So, to preserve this preparation for more duration, longer duration, alcohol should be present in the menstruum. Now we will discuss how to prepare fresh infusion from concentrated infusion. 
For preparing fresh infusion from concentrated infusion, we have to dilute one part of concentrated infusion with seven parts of water. Example of concentrated infusions are concentrated infusion of chirata, orange peel infusion BPC and concentrated infusion of quassia. Next process that is decoction. In this process, drug it is kept with the water and it is boiled with the water for specific time, especially for 10 minutes and after this it is filtered and volume is adjusted by fresh moisture. In this process also mark is not pressed. This is the process of decoction. Now we will discuss when we can use decoction process. Decoction process is preferred when the crude drug is hard and woody. As crude drug is boiled with water, it can penetrate well into the hard or woody drug and helps in the process of extraction. This process is also used if crude drug contains water soluble thermostable active constituent. So this process it is not used for thermolabile constituents. Example of decoction process which is used in our house is preparation of tea by boiling tea powder with the water. Now we will discuss difference between infusion and decoction. In infusion process, menstruum used is either cold or boiling water. While in decoction, drug it is boiled with water. Infusion process it is used or preferred for soft drugs while decoction process it is used for hard or woody drugs. In infusion process final volume is not adjusted while in decoction process final volume of extract is adjusted. Infusion process it is suitable for thermolabile as well as volatile substances while decoction process it is not suitable for thermolabile and volatile substances. It is only suitable for thermostable substances. These are the differences between infusion and decoction. Now, this is the time to conclude. In this video, we had learned about the definition of infusion and decoction. We also discuss about the preparation of infusion and decoction. We had also discussed about types of infusion and we differentiate between infusion and decoction. I am very much thankful to you for watching this video. If you have any queries, you can directly contact with me on my email address. You can visit here on my YouTube channel Tips and Tricks by A and B. If you want to see such videos once again, please subscribe my channel Tips and Tricks by A and B.